Welcome, guys. So, I'm sure you've seen the title. This is the only eye texturing and shading course you need. It's not a course, but you know, it's a tutorial. But this is the only video you need. After we are done here, you'll be able to create Disney type of eyes. And since you'll be seeing the node workflow, you'll be able to create different kind of eyes that you want, maybe even lizard eyes. And, you know, it's just very customizable, but obviously we're going to be doing something simple. But, you know, the concept is, is the important thing. You'll be able to understand how to go about doing it. So we're going to start with the modeling, of course. I don't know if we're going to cover the shading, um, sorry, the baking aspect, but I hope we do. But let's get started. I am going to do, yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing in the shading tab, okay? I've already imported two eyes. This is from um, Mario, Princess Peach, and this is anime I, I saw online. Okay, so, yeah, let's get started. Um, I want to start with the, I think it is the cornea. Right? Yeah, I'll start with the cornea. So, control two, as usual, apply it, go into edit mode, and F3, search for to sphere, um, to make it a perfect, perfect sphere. And then press one. There we go. Shade smooths add two levels of subdivision. And that should work hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the, this is fine for the tutorial we want to do. Okay. Um, and then we will do the iris, the one on the inside. So for that, I'm going to use uh, a circle. Front view, I'm going to change this to view. So it flips to the front view. And yeah. I'm going to move this forward. Let me scale it down slightly. I'm going to use this as a reference. Okay. So we want to start with this. We're going to imagine that um, the iris, the mesh starts from somewhere around here, outside this, yeah, outside this zone. So let's say it starts from here, obviously. We're going to press F to fill, I to insert. We're going to bring it down. Now. This is probably the part where we'll see the you know, uh, black of the eyes. And yeah, I think I want this. Then I'm going to insert again. I'm going to E to extrude downwards. I'm going to press this and bring this forward slightly. Yeah and give it two levels of the subdivision. Um, this, I'll add a loop cut, control, no, I don't add a loop cut. Let's use the, let's keep the procedure, so bevel weight, we'll have, um, we'll add a bevel modi uh, modifier, and give it two levels, there we go, and change this to weight. Let's reduce this, this time, and apply our transformations. There we go. So this isn't like a beginner course, like the one I just released, my tone course. So I'm not going to be going into all the sponsor details, but where I need to explain, obviously I will explain, but I won't, I won't treat this like a beginner tutorial, okay? So I think, I think that's pretty much done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think we are done with the modeling. Um, it's very procedural, so we can still change this as we see fit. Maybe I should bring this down slightly. I think this is fine. Now we can move on to the texturing. Okay? So let's just take a break and I will get back to the texturing. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we are done with the modeling now. We are going to start texturing this bad boy. Okay, so let's start with the cornea. For the cornea, we are going to go into. Let's go to shaded view, or E view rather, and yeah, let's add a new material. We are going to call this cornea. 
Okay. I'm going to press Ctrl T. This is a function of the Node Wrangler add-on. So Ctrl T to bring this up. I'm going to shift S on top on, on this material, on this texture, on this yeah, on this texture node, and I'm going to change it from um, image texture to gradient. I'm going to just change this to spherical. And yeah, I'm going to use UV. I'm going to impute minus 0.5. Yeah, there we go. It's looking, well, nothing is happening. <laughs> but, you know, it's working. Now, I'm going to add a color ramp so we can see what's going on. Just drag this. Mm. 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 Why is it like this? It's not supposed to look like this. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I forgot a very important step. You are supposed to. We are using the UVs, so definitely we need to use your lapis. So, I'm going to max in a give your lapis. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start the UV and wrap from this part. I'm going to clear this. Clear, sim, and then UV and wrap. There we go. Now I'm going to come into the UV editor. I'm going to pick, I'm going to find the front face. There we go. I'm going to go into the UV editor, click this, and park island. That's okay. And then from this, I'm just going to scale it down slightly. And let's see what it did. There we go. Now it's working like it's supposed to work. I'm going to bring this down slightly. But yeah, you see? It's working. It's it's working. Yeah. I like that. So um yeah, let's look at our eyes. Let's see how it looks. Now we want this um to help us like um uh, um we want to be efficient with the amount of power that the eyes take, or how should I say, the amount of render time the eyes will take. So instead of making this whole sphere transparent like um, most people do, we are just going to make just this part that will show the iris. We make it transparent, and this part will be white. So, um, so um, for you to understand, so this is what what, uh, what we'll do. Let's see. Let's try to gauge the how big the um the iris is so we need this white to stop around yeah around here so let's do it let's bring this down bring it down i think yeah i think that's it um now you're going to plug that into the transmission so the transmission is going to anywhere that is um anywhere that it's white to be transparent and then anyway that is black to be to be white this uh, base color so just reduce the roughness and there we go um since we are in ev let's go back to ev and i'm going to come to this as uh, screen space space refraction i'm going to change this to none and i'm going to change this to alpha blend so that we can see no well, better is to have a blend <laughs> so that we can see the transparency okay so i'm going to go back to cycles and yeah i'm going to continue now for now so that we can see better i'm going to call this material iris fake user and i'm going to give it the black color uh, or maybe a brown color so we can you know i'm sure you understand we can see what we are doing and so far yeah so far i can tell that the the whole of this eye is too big, so we are going to adjust it. Um, but for now, let's continue. We're going to drag this down slightly. It's supposed to be blurry, this part, but not too blurry like it was before. So just drag it down. This is your discretion. And yeah, let's see. The, ooh, it's too, it's too small now. I'm going to drag this out. Oops. Take the, the little black one. Drag it down. Okay, there we go. Let me drag this slightly. Okay, okay. Just going to get this right. Yeah, 
There we go. Something like this. Yeah, something like this is fine. But yeah. I like this. Okay. Um now that we have this, we are going to um we have to take care of the fact that the back of the eyes is red and you know the um, this part is white. The part where we can see most of these white but the moment we rotate the eyes, we can see that the part, um, the back of the eyes is red. So let's do that. Now we are going to take this same gradient mode and we're going to take a new color ramp, press the backspace to reset it, um, plug this in, plug this in, and then let's do it. Pull this forward slightly. Good. Now we're going to make it red. There we go. Red. And then we'll make add, add another slider. But I'm going to make this slightly yellowish. Mm, that looks really good. Yeah. That looks quite good actually. Yeah. Okay. And then so we will make it even look more realistic. You can just give it control uh, a bright scale and give it some give it a subsurface scattering. So let me, let me give it zero, zero one. Uh, let's see that works. I'm going to go to cycles. I'm going to put in a fake um light for now. And I'm going to reduce the opacity. Maybe that's not big enough. Oh, the eyes are really scale like like crazy. That's why it's not working. But for now, we don't need to put it. We don't need to put it for now. But you get the idea. So, yeah, I think this is cool. Is this cool? Hmm. Let me let me drag this backwards and maybe put it here. It should be more white than. And then bring this red nails up. There we go. Yeah, I think this is fine for now. Now, um, we're going to go to the... This is the corner. The corner is done. Now, the this is the part where it gets complicated when we start working on the iris. So first of all, I want the whole of the iris, the, the, the part that will be black in the iris. Yeah? I want to make it... Is that it? Am I selecting the right thing? Like this 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 oops oops i'm trying to click on select more okay okay there we go i'm going to scale but i don't want you to scale on y axis so s shift y yeah i think that's what i'm trying to do so yeah let's go to um this more so we can see so s Shift Y. There we go. Yeah, I think this is fine. The S shift Y. I think this is fine for now. Ooh, I like it. Let me see what the mesh looks like. Yeah, this is fine for now. Let's use this. 